Okay, we have the JBL 26 uh, CT speaker right here. This is a speaker designed for to run off 70 volts or 100 volts. Um, and you can tell that by the the tap that you have on the inside of your speaker here. And basically, we want we want to use this for a home theater system um, that does not run off 70 volts. These these speakers are designed for PA systems or or stuff that runs off a, a 70 volt amp. Um, we want to use these speakers for a home theater um, that'll be running off 8 ohms uh, instead of the 16 ohms that these were designed for. So what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect the, the transformer, which is right there, uh, if you can see it inside the, uh, inside the speaker. We're going to completely remove that from the equation here. Um, you know, some folks talk about removing it and getting rid of it and all that good stuff. I leave it in there. I just bypass the wiring in there. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's not necessary to remove it. Um, I've, I've actually already finished this one. This video was kind of an afterthought, but I can still show you, uh, basically what we're getting at here. Um, so basically inside the can, you have a circuit board here. Uh, coming off this circuit board, you have a bunch of wires um, going to your going to your tap and going to your tap from your transformer to supply your different um, your different outputs. Uh, what we want to do uh, is grab our yellow and green coming off the circuit board. Um, there's a yellow and green coming off the transformer right here. We'll leave that one alone. But we're going to go for the yellow and green coming off the circuit board. Here's the green right here. And here's the yellow right here. You see it going directly into the center of the circuit board there. Uh, so we're going to clip those. Uh, those. Those run up off the circuit board up into the tap. We're going to clip those off the tap. Sorry, my, my dogs are fighting. Um, we're going to clip those off the tap, set those aside. And then we also have um, a yellow. Oh, I'm sorry, we already did the yellow. We have a black and a red also coming off here. And we want to make sure we grab the smaller gauge black and the smaller gauged red. Um, you have, and, you, and we want to grab the ones that are going to the tap, not to the speaker itself. We don't want to clip these. You have, you have two blacks, um, I'm sorry, one black and one red coming off the circuit board and going to the speaker. Uh, we want to leave those alone. So we're going to clip the black and the red. <laughs> we're going to clip the black and the red coming from off the circuit board and going to the tap. We're going to clip those. And then what we want to do is just splice the yellow and the red together. And we want to splice the black and the green together. And that completely bypasses the transformer here and has our power coming in from the amp going to our positive and negative on the speaker. And what you're gonna find if you've already had these speakers hooked up is it gets probably about, uh, well, a whole lot louder uh, because the, the, the amp wasn't working as hard before with the 16 ohm output on there. And um, now it's working a little bit harder with the eight ohm, but you're getting more power uh, and you'll, you'll notice the sound difference. So, uh, you'll probably read online some folks talk about soldering this on the circuit board and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary. You, you have to completely remove the circuit board to do that. It's a pain in the ass, and uh, I don't feel it's really worth it. The, the solder is a better connection, more permanent connection on there, but if you know how to splice stranded wires together and get a wire nut on there securely, you'll be fine. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, hope you... Enjoy it and enjoy your, your better sounding speakers. Mm.